The posterior nasal apertures or internal nostrils are found at the posterior of the nasal passage between the nasal cavity and the throat in tetrapods with secondary palates, including humans and other mammals. In animals with secondary palates, they allow breathing when the mouth is closed. They are also known as the choanae. In tetrapods without secondary palates their function relates primarily to olfaction. The choanae is separated into two parts by the vomer boundaries. It is the opening between the nasal cavity and the nasopharynx. It is therefore not a structure but a space bounded as follows anteriorly and inferiorly by the horizontal plate of palatine bone, superiorly and posteriorly by the sphenoid bone, laterally by the medial pterygoid plates, medially by the vomma. Etymology The term is a Latinization from the Greek chon, meaning funnel, choony in different animals. Early bony fishes had two pair of nostrils, one pair for incoming water, and a second pair for outgoing water, with the olfactory apparatus in between. In the first tetrapodomorphs the excurrent nostrils migrated to the edge of the mouth, occupying a position between the maxillary and premaxillary bones, directly below the lateral rostral. In all but the most basal tetrapodomorphs, the excurrent nostrils have migrated from the edge of the mouth to the interior of the mouth. In tetrapods that lack a secondary palate, the choanae are located forward in the roof of the mouth just inside the upper jaw. These internal nasal passages evolved while the vertebrates still lived in water. In animals with complete secondary palates the space between the primary and secondary palates contain the nasal passages, with the choanae located above the posterior end of the secondary palate. In animals with partial secondary palates the median choanal slit separates the two halves of the posterior half of the palate, connecting the nasal cavity with the buccal cavity and the pharynx. Fish Most fish do not have choanae, instead they have two pairs of external nostrils, each with two tubes whose frontal openings lie close to the upper jaw, and the posterior openings further behind near the eyes. A 395 million year old fossil lobe finned fish called Kenichthys Camberley has something between a choana and the external nostrils seen on other fish. The posterior opening of the external nostrils has migrated into the mouth. In lungfish, the inner nostrils are regarded as an example of parallel evolution. The fossil lungfish Diabolepis shows an intermediate stage between posterior and anterior nostril and supports the independent origin of internal nostrils in the lungfish. Hagfishes have a single internal nostril that opens inside the mouth cavity, while chimera have open canals that leads water from their external nostrils into their mouths and through their gills. Additional images Base of skull, inferior surface, 